free diving is important to Dominica from the standpoint of one, it's new. It's going to bring a lot of awareness to the country and what Dominica has to offer. It's a very nice experience. It was my first time meeting Johnny and all the rest of the guys. I see diving already, but diving in tanks, never freestyle diving. So it's a good experience, I must say. I went out once to see them dive. It was very nice. Today we witnessed a very historic moment in free diving in Dominica. We witnessed the first male and female Dominican free divers getting their national record. Francisca is Dominica's first and only female diving instructor and Vivian, he's one of the marine park wardens. They're both there in the water enjoying the marine park and taking care of the environment. And so for them to come in and be able to set national records, you know, this was something really great for us as organizers to be a part of, and I think something really great for the people of Dominica. I have a passion for the water. So then when the free dive competition come along, we were working with them. So he asked me if I really want to do it. So I tell him I would give it a try. So here we go. Normally when I do dive, I don't equalize with my hands. I just wiggle my jaw, and that's perfect. But then when I go doing the free dive, I had to equalize pinching my nose. I was just enjoying the moment. <laughs> I didn't want to come up. I was just having fun. <laughs> I broke a record today, and I'm proud of it. I'm looking forward to do more, and I'm enjoying it. It feels awesome. It's pretty historic for me, being the first female instructor and also free diver on the island. It's a great feeling. High five, mommy. High five, big girls. I just absolutely love being underwater, so that's like home to me. So diving down and the closer I got, and finally having that tag in my hand was just awesome. It was a great feeling. I, I'm just so happy right now. It's been real fulfilling for me and for my country as well. Actually, I've known Francisca before because she was a student at the school where I taught in Sufria many years ago. But it was quite interesting to see them because they're involved in the sector and they live in a community that depends on the sea for their livelihood. So it was very good to see that they're interested in the sport and they can help to develop the sport to the next generation coming up. Oh, that's my little girl. Next free diver, next dive instructor on Dominica. <laughs> so somebody worth a special mention. He's been there to help us and support us here at the beginning. Kiri Elaine, and he's achieved great results already, 27 meters. I think it is a very unique opportunity that Dominicans get to see this. We really don't know much about it, and it definitely is the new buzz around, and um, you know, I'm happy, really psyched. Unfortunately, he was unable to participate in the competition due to, he says flu, but maybe he was scared. So Curie, we're waiting for you. See you in 2017. I would like to do more and more of the exercises and training as much as I can to take part in this competition again. And hopefully we will have some more local Dominicans involved in this competition. I think it ushers in a new era of sport in Dominica with freediving and I'd love to see more Dominicans coming in and setting records in the future. The people who take part in the competition, oh they are awesome and I admire them. Oh man, one day I will get to where they go into, one day. It's something which I think is important even if we are not at the international level in terms of the readiness of the competition itself but hats off to these guys. They're defying the odds and they're competing in the midst of internationally recognized freedivers. It's just a start and I think once we can train persons here locally to do this, I think it'll begin to create that additional avenue. Um, next time when you come here for the following year, we can have much stronger divers who can give a lot more competition to the other persons. I would like to thank Johnny and Blue Element for bringing this excitement to Dominica and in my village called Sufria. It is so wonderful, could not be better.